Idiots abound in the general public. One question I often get asked, can I charge in the rain, snow, thunderstorm, lightning? Is the car safe? Is the charger safe? I'm Dave. Welcome to Dave Takes It On. It is tipping it down, so I thought I'd make a video about charging in the rain. This is the UK. It does rain. It is charging. You can see that from the green light, so it's live. I can happily swipe the water off the handle and then grab hold of it. The cars are fully protected, the electricity totally isolated. Don't forget, submarines have high voltage and high current, and they're safe. Properly designed and built, EVs are totally safe in the wet weather. Unlike your average ice car. They really do not like wet weather. Well, a big thank you to Tom Sunderland for this video. And check out his channel, link below, for more fun and games. Well, at least to us EV owners. Ice cars have exposed electronics and spark plugs that can easily get wet. And if they do, the engine tends not to run very well at all. And you'll see that with some of these cars just grinding to a halt. Luckily, they'll probably run again once they're dried out and sprayed with WD-40 or something. Unless... Hey, did someone say EVs are too heavy? I bet this guy wished his car was a bit heavier. You see, ice cars suck in air, which they draw into the cylinder and the piston compresses it. Spray and petrol or diesel ignite the explosive mixture and you create an explosion, which expands and forces the piston down. This is stored energy, the fuel becoming movement. But introduce any water into the air intake and you quickly discover that water is non-compressible. If you get water into your air intake, it will be drawn into the cylinder and when the piston tries to compress a non-compressible substance, something has to give. <laughs> In this case, it's the ice, the engine. And these engines are usually a total write-off. The steam coming off the engine is probably salvageable, not really serious at all. Steam coming out of the exhaust, <laughs> definitely not. Well, that doesn't sound too healthy. I think that one might need a bit of TLC. You know, I could watch these for hours before some bright spark points out that some of them get through. Bet an EV can't do that. Ha! Just what I was waiting for. Enter the Tesla Model 3. The one people are worried about charging in the rain. EVs do not have air intakes for the engine, or cylinders, or pistons, or spark plugs. But I love the cheeky wave, obviously meant for all those queuing up waiting for an EV to catch fire, or something. EVs have a battery and an electric motor, and because 100% of EVs are not used in Egypt, they're all designed and built to be totally waterproof, weatherproof, and completely and utterly safe. EVs are totally safe in normal weather. Rain? Yeah, easily. Snow? Yeah, no problem. Thunderstorms? Well, I'm not sure I would head out for a round of golf in a thunderstorm, so I don't think I would risk charging in a real storm. As for lightning, well, even a total idiot would not charge in a lightning storm. And most of those total idiots wouldn't go and stand in a petrol station holding a metal nozzle while lightning sparked all around them. Come on, a bit of common sense, please. Well, just a final comment from Elon. He was asked specifically if a Tesla Model S could survive a really deep flood or ford. He replied that the car was waterproof and the electrics are fully protected, so it would almost certainly come to no harm. But he definitely did not recommend trying it. Wise words. Treat your investment carefully. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and click the notification bell so we can notify you next time we launch a video. And a massive thank you to all our Patreon supporters. It is your support that enables us to go out and make these videos for you. So thank you very much for your contribution. I'm Dave.